Hey family, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl High Priestess Ma back of our tea, back on another week. And we're gonna write in and show you our space and see what is going on for my air family, Aquarius with the Gemini. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Hey power, archangels, ancestors, gods, and goddesses of the divine white light. Please protect me and my air family as we get into this scene. Please protect our energy from any unwanted souls, vibes, or entities. Please give us the clarity and the truth. Please surround us with your love and guide us with your wisdom, always and forever. High power, archangels, ancestors of the divine way light, showing gratitude and thanks for all the blessings, the lessons, the seasons, and new beginnings. For you delivering us away from temptation, guiding us throughout our journey to the motherland of milk and honey. Forever grateful for your divine protection and love. Amen. Now, with that being said, let's tap in. So, it smells like cinnamon. I'm getting a feel of like cinnamon. Some cinnamon flavor. This could be cereal, cinnamon toast crunch. This could be in the morning. Okay. I am starting out with Aquarius. This could be like when you wake up in the morning and have cereal. It's the holidays. Or somebody could be, could be getting memories of when they were a child. Okay. I'm also hearing something like a past life love, a past life love, okay? So, I don't know, Aquarius, maybe you could be reminiscing on something you loved as a child or a person that could remind you of home, like somebody could make you, you could have, you could be dealing with a love or a past life love that you could be reminiscing on that makes you, yeah, somebody's an angel that makes you, um... Think about childhood when you were a little kid. Okay, they bring back those memories. Okay, somebody could be moving into calmer waters or to some. This could be like a calmer state in your life. Like maybe things were like really hectic at one point, Aquarius, and it's like things are starting to become more settled, become more grounded, becoming more. Um, yeah, there was some type of injustice that was done. Okay. So let's see what's going on. What do my Aquarius need to know? Okay, so we have the King of Wands here. I'm here fondling you. Fondling you. I don't know if somebody could be fondling you or wanting to play with you. This could be something sexual. Like if you have some type of sexual encounter with an individual or this is you, Aquarius, maybe you like to um, be a little sneaky or something like that it's giving me like one of those laying next to somebody and something's turned sexual it's like you rubbing on them kissing on them kind of feeling on them in a sleep okay <laughs> fondling with someone okay um i don't know necessarily if this is bad or good but i'm getting the king of wands in the upright so i'm getting this is like sexual but this is like yeah i'm also hearing sexual healing Sexual healing. So I don't know if this happened to an individual Aquarius or this happened to you. This I don't know, but it's some type of eight of swords here, okay? Somebody's in some type of mental imprisonment or some type of mental exchange is what I'm hearing. Somebody's going back and forth with their thoughts, emotions, and feelings um, about something that happened. I don't know if this is something that happened as a child, okay? I don't know. Somebody definitely was fondling with somebody when they were asleep, but I'm getting like whether this happened to somebody, an individual, or somebody wants to do this to you, okay? Take it how it may resonate, but with the five of swords here, um, yeah, this is definitely giving me something that somebody is moving past or moving on from. This is not something that's um, holding some type of barrier, but I do get like um, constantly rethinking it constantly is being brought back up into somebody's brain or thinking about it over and over again but still moving forward it's like knowing that it happened and why it happened and how it happened but still it's still there okay um somebody having some type of mental anxiety or was having some type of mental anxiety from this whatever this is but like i said this could also be somebody who you know, miss doing this to you, like, you know, wants to do this to you or is reminiscing about this to you. Yeah, I'm hearing I want to territory, I want to vibes, and I'm also hearing used territory. So, 
used territory that's kind of giving me an energy of like feeling used and abused or unwanted this is kind of giving me rape i don't know for some of y'all this is kind of giving me rape like as a child or, or something like that because it's giving me like used and abused unwanted you know but not voluntarily this is involuntary like somebody feels this way because of what they've been through or this could like i said this could be a, a relationship where there was like emotional abuse as well where somebody only wanted you for the greater goods this could even be like you know the greater goods and the pleasures of them okay aquarius um i'm also getting like um yeah but you know what i don't know it's almost like if somebody did go through this, or if you did go through this, it's like somebody makes you feel whole again. It's like if you did feel empty inside, you could have dated multiple people. If this was something that happened as a child or another relationship, you could have tried to date. You should have tried to move on, and you still feel empty inside. But then somebody made you feel whole. It's something about somebody making somebody feel whole again or making them feel wanted. It's like, look, strength. It's like... If somebody felt like, oh, yeah, you know, used and abused or, um, you know, not that, that somebody would never want them or that they could never find true love because of what happened to them involuntarily, this is giving me, like, somebody looking at you like you make them feel like even, like, if this is something about childhood, you make them feel sick about the good memories during childhood instead of the bad memories or back as a child again like you make somebody feel innocent again you make them feel whole again like not like a used tissue you know like a abuse like as a abuser would make a victim feel abused um i'm getting like somebody feels like you you don't make them feel that way and there's something about the holidays that's specific here um somebody's very traditional okay somebody's very traditional they like to follow the church the, the, you know, the traditions, the family traditions, but I'm not getting like, um, you know, grandmama. Well, yeah, I'm getting grandmama, but I'm getting more like ancestral traditions, okay? Somebody follows the ancestral traditions, like the way their ancestors used to do it type of thing. Because, you know, as generations and generations go on, people start, you know, people in the family, they change things. I'm getting like somebody's great great grandmother, somebody's ancestors is with them on the holidays. Like, no, nah, we're gonna do it this way, you know? It's something like that. Okay. Yeah, there is definitely some type of recovery from a heartbreak or hurt feelings here. Okay, somebody's choosing to face the pain instead of run away from it uh, or be isolated. Somebody's finding it better to um, confront their issues. Okay, yeah, ace here. Somebody definitely does want a brand new beginning, Aquarius. Or this is you. You want something to feel, something that's going to fulfill you. Or this is higher power giving you this blessing here. This could be higher power giving you, oh, an empress. Or you could be the empress, okay, and this king of wands. Whether you are this empress here, and there is an individual that is very much so, very attracted to you. And high power is giving you this person as a blessing. Or you are this king of wands here. Very passionate, strong. Okay, you can even be a little aggressive, dominant. But in a good way here, I'm also getting like sexual wise. And the um, the higher power is giving you this empress, okay. Somebody that's meant for you. Somebody that would love and, and nurture you, care for you, okay. I'm also getting the energy, Aquarius, of somebody holding on, okay, but determined as well, okay, determined as well, but holding on, okay, we kind of mentioned that, you know, being in that mental space, being in that anxiety, but at the same time, it's like, it's like having like a flashback, but then it's like snapping out of that and coming back to reality, that reality, reality. And being like, you know, that shit happened, but that ain't gonna make me, that's not gonna be like, and and also I'm getting like taking a, a, a negative and making it positive. So it's like if it did happen, it's like oh well, you know, or whatever, you know, confronting that shit. But at the same time, it's like I, I still choose to be happy. I still choose to be whole. I still go after you know, you know, because some people could definitely kind of dwell in their emotions and feelings, and let it really get the best of them. Okay, 
we got judgment here. So somebody is rebuilding their feelings and emotion, and we're if somebody's. I, I was gonna say we're calling judgment. So I feel like this is higher power, and you Aquarius that's calling judgment on a uh, Queen of Pentacles here. Okay, this could be good judgment or bad judgment. Um, but with the Queen of Cups, this could definitely be like feelings and emotions, chariot. Okay, somebody has made up their mind about coming towards somebody. So. What this is giving me is like if somebody's moving on to be in a bet better relationship or to be a part yeah, to better be in a better relationship or to um move forward with something in their life and choose to not think about the things of the past. Somebody could also be feeling like they need to do this in a sneaky way, okay, or um less harmful for other people. I don't know, somebody could be a little bit of a people pleaser. Okay, or they don't really want other individuals to know about what they're doing or, or who they're doing it with. But what I'm getting is like somebody could view an individual as a queen of pentacles, queen of cups, queen of swords is what I'm hearing. But higher powers, like this person's actually an empress. This person's actually balancing all the areas here. Okay, maybe somebody's only looking at the, the Pacific of somebody. I'm hearing my sexy love. Yeah, it's something about the things you do kind of drops somebody crazy. And I just can't say. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Baby, do our thing. Hermit. So somebody could be watching you or you're watching an individual here. Um, Something has you in some type of mental space, okay? Mental anxiety here. Um, We got the lovers. Okay, maybe this love has you, like, kind of tripping a little bit. Somebody could be tripping. I'm here. I'm tripping on you. Uh, what's that? I'm done tripping. I'm chip tripping. Yeah. Maybe it's, what she say? Maybe it's your love got me tripping on you. Uh, baby, it's your love. It's giving me, like, I'm hearing, is, is it too good to be true? Something like that. Somebody's feeling like something's too good to be true, Aquarius. Um, they're feeling like, you know, ain't no way type of thing or um, it's not what it looks like type of thing, okay? Somebody's almost afraid to check or afraid to look almost. It's like if somebody's watching you and they're in this Eight of Swords energy, it's, but it's almost like um, they could be trying to release themselves or feed themselves, but they're still afraid to look at something or to check something out for themselves. Like, I don't know what I'm going to see. Am I going to um, get the, a, a right answer or am I going to get what I'm looking for? I'm here. Have a baby by me, baby. Be a millionaire. Have a baby by me, baby. Be a millionaire. I get like somebody going to be a, like a stay-at-home mom or maybe like a stay-at-home dad. Okay, um, pretty much the lifestyle, but not because of stay-at-home mom, stay-at-home dad, because I, I feel like somebody's just going to work from home or do things from home, but it's the energy of, like, um, somebody here wants to be the provider or is providing, okay? We got the higher fence, the seven of wands with the page of pentacles. Again, like, I don't know, I'm hearing stalkerish. Somebody could definitely be stalkering somebody. Somebody could be very defensive or has this defensive mechanism about themselves, okay? Um, I'm also getting, like, learning the best of themselves, okay? Learning how to give the best of themselves, which is the good part of them and which is not, yeah. This is something, it's giving me, like, this King of Wands energy. Somebody definitely could have been very promiscuous and it could have definitely triggered from childhood memories. But the thing about that, though, is, like, somebody's taking this, development and they're twisting it into something new it's like transforming yourself okay um and becoming the best version of yourself this is really beautiful like it's like if somebody did go through some shit and it made them promiscuous like it made you this king of wands right but or it made somebody the king of wands but it's like it's it's, it's not triggering anymore it, it, it's there it's like how you became the king of wands it's there but it's like shit I'm bold now. I'm brave. I'm more than that. It's like transforming the whole kink of wands, you know, making it like, oh, you know, it, it doesn't have to be, oh, lustful. It doesn't have to be this. It doesn't have to be that. Yeah, it can, it can be lustful, but for one person, it can be passionate. It can be generational. It can be, you know, something beautiful, okay? Somebody could have definitely wanted you to be 
um, this harsh person, this nasty, foul, like, nasty individual, like, you know, somebody with a nasty, and I'm not even just getting, like, on the inside, but I'm getting, like, on the outside, too, like, a nasty individual, a nasty, you could be dressed and look nice, you could be, you know, pretty or really handsome, but, like, nasty inside, nasty mindset, nasty mouth, nasty attitude, like, just foul, like, just really, like, I'm once again talking about an older Okay, but like just like this can even be hygiene too, like not taking care of yourself or worried about the wrong things, you know, versus like worried about your health, you know, more than um, or worried about the outside appearance more than like your health, like not physically taking care of your inside, your heart, your health, your body. Uh, you know, this can even talk about diseases, okay, and infections and like sexual transmitted diseases or drug overdose and things like that um but still worried about you know just worried about oh i look good you know the king of wands i'm showing off uh, all the ladies like me all the men like me you know because it could definitely be a, a woman too okay but i'm getting like somebody's transforming the king of wands it's like no you know i'm passionate i'm bold i'm brave i'm courageous here, I, yes, I can be lustful. I could be dominant. I could be sexual. But it's something about somebody's like, no, I don't even want that with one individual. I don't want that with multiple people, okay? Yes, yeah, somebody here is defensive as well, and they're moving forward. I feel like somebody's protecting themselves and protecting them heart, their heart. So they're going to um, take baby steps, <laughs> breadcrumbs. Okay, I'm, I'm also hearing somebody could be battling some type of drug overdose, okay, or, or somebody could have, have had a drug overdose or indulged in drugs and alcohol way too much, okay. Um, somebody's uh, worried about being some type of substance abuse, okay. They don't want to. Maybe this was something that, you know, because dealing with stress in a certain kind of way, somebody here... Um, they kind of overindulge in, in things that were not good, but that was like the whole purpose, you know. If somebody did go through some shit as a child, you know, uh, I feel bad about that. And I'm also hearing something about my condolences, okay. I don't know what that's about, but my condolences, because um, that sounds like somebody passed away. Um, but maybe that was their childhood, you know. Maybe that was a part of you as a child, you know, passed away, Um so my condolences, you know, after that shit, life probably was different. Um, you know what? That make a lot of sense. That make a lot of sense from the beginning of the read. But, um, you know, now if this is somebody who went through, like, a relationship here as well, you know, either it was childhood wounds or been through a relationship where somebody was, like, just foul to you or, or wanted to break you, you know, mentally, physically abusive or, or just very hurtful no, for no damn reason, you know, or for reasons that you can't even control, you know, motherfucker get mad at you because you're beautiful or motherfucker get mad at you because you're handsome because you look nice. It's like, well, why would you like me if I, if I don't look nice? You know, it's like somebody wanted you for them, but then wanted to beat you down. Like, no, you shining too much or some shit like that, like. You know, it's what I'm getting, but I'm getting like um, it was. That was the whole point, though. That was the whole point. You know, either way, either either way it went. It's like as a child, somebody could have passed these burdens off on you. You know, literally transform a sex entity to you as a child. You know, making you depressed, down, uh, making you this nasty person or whatever. You know, literally transferring that energy. And as a um as or even as a grown person in a relationship, it's the same thing, you know, it was the whole point of it was somebody was transferring their demons onto you so that they didn't feel so much hurt or pain or whatever the fuck that they were going through or, through or insecurities them damn selves. So they wanted to transfer that over to you. So that was the whole point to make you this foul, nasty, and I want to say creature. It's not even human. Like, that's why I keep getting like a sex entity. It's literally like... No, it's like some slime. It's like a virus. It's like a cold. It's like some green. It's like snot or mucus or some weird ass shit. It's like walking mucus or something. You know, like the Powerpuff Girls. 
they had a little gang green things and with the hats on it's something like that like just getting everybody sick and affected and causing illness and damage in the world like somebody literally wanted that for you and you you could be afraid of this lover situation now because this is bringing something out of you it's making you transform but for the greater good this is something you should go after aquarius this is beautiful okay don't be ashamed of yourself or the past or anything of that because things happen. Yes, it does. And I know that sounds bad because you might be like, well, why would God want this to happen to me? It's something about your experience will help others, okay? It's, it's like how Paul gives his toughest soldiers. I mean, gives his toughest battles to his toughest soldiers. And so it's like when you move forward, you're going to be able to help a lot of people transform because of what you've been through. Your little one thing is going to impact millions. And sometimes, yeah, you got to have powers like, yeah, I got to make one little sacrifice to, you know, brighter everybody else. This can even be like helping people before they get in situations like this. Helping people with their own fucking children. Especially if it was like a boyfriend, a relative, or a, a girlfriend, or somebody, you know, of your moms or your dads, or somebody who did this to you as a child, or a relative, you know, a sister, a brother, whatever. You know, it's like all helping you. It's gonna, it, it's gonna help you because you're gonna heal from knowing that whatever you doing through is helping so many other people, and that you are able to change others' lives. Okay, even if it, it was a relationship, it's the same. Okay. So take it as a blessing, baby, and not a loss. But that is all I have for you guys. Thanks for chilling with your girl, High Priestess Mar. If this video has touched you in any kind of way, definitely go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button or that notification bell. Okay, I appreciate all the love and support anyways, family. And that is all I have for you. Peace, love, and prosperity. Till next time. Mwah. Bye. Hey, family. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, High Priestess Mar. Back with more tea, back with another read, and we're going to go right in, say some space, and see what is going on for my Gemini, okay? High power, cleansing the energy, what is going on for my Gemini? Where's my thing? Oh. Uh-oh. I'm here a sacred space, okay, Gemini? A sacred space. So maybe you need to create a sacred space or you need to go to your sacred space. It's going to help you um, cleanse or it's going to help you um, clear the energy, clear out some type of negativity. In this case that I'm going in with the solar plexus um, chakra candle um, incense because I, I feel like, you know, this is uh, relating to your creativity here, okay? You creating something magical, manifesting at this time, you need to maybe make you a, a prayer's corner, a prayer's box, a prayer's room, or a sacred space, an area where you can cleanse and um, gain knowledge. Um, I'm also hearing about interpretation. Something could be... Okay. So, I'm about to talk about said family. So, um, we're going to go in for Gemini. Now, I was saying, like, you need to get you a sacred space, a sacred area. And I'm also hearing clairvoyant, clairaudient, okay? So, that could resonate for some of you, Gemini. I was also getting, like, interpretation, okay? So, that you can, maybe it's some miscommunication. You could be, or or if you already have a sacred space, you need to go to your sacred space. When you get confused, you gain more knowledge, okay? Um, so, this can help you get clear messages, downloads, even when you want to meditate, you know, it don't have to be fancy like this is also what I'm hearing. It could be just like, you know, a certain crystal in your hand. If you work with crystals, a certain candle. I'm also getting like a white candle. For some of you guys, you could just get a white candle and just light it. It don't got to be nothing fancy. It could be like a regular white candle from Walmart, you know, one of those big ones. Um, and just like, you know, meditate on it. Um, ask questions. Ask for answers, ask for a message, ask for a download, a message in a dream, or ask for, you know, something here. Um, high power is calling you to be more creative at this time, Gemini, so that you can uh, receive what you are looking for. I'm here. we got what you looking for, what you looking for. For some of you guys, you have gotten the answer already, but you, you maybe you have been confused or you constantly... Um, are being steered in the wrong direction 
or you you may be I don't know. It could be an energy of you second guessing or something like that, Gemini. Okay. But high power saying that that's fine, that's fine. Especially if you got somebody, I'm hearing like a warlock. You have somebody in your energy that's uh, constantly trying to confuse you. Um, for some of you guys, okay. But in high power saying that's fine. You just need to. You don't even need no cards, really. If some of you guys, if you into cards, go ahead. But some of you guys, you know, whatever you into, take your time with it. High power saying you don't need to rush. You don't need to like what everybody else like or do what everybody else do. You could go ahead and, you know, do it how you do it, you know? Take it in how you see fit, okay? So, if that just means, like, sit in a corner with a candle, meditating, okay? Playing some spiritual music or some meditational music or some even some uplifting gospel music. Shit, for some of you guys... Okay, whatever that floats your boat, because it really doesn't matter. It's how you connect with higher power. It's how you build your relationship with higher power, okay? So, let's go right in. Let's see. What do Gemini need to know? Okay, we got the Ten of Pentacles coming out here. Something is being shared, okay? I'm getting like this happily ever after. I'm also getting like this. I don't know why this is giving me like, I'm hearing a whole new world. This is giving me, I can't really sing right now, y'all. Every time I'm doing my readings, my nose get really stopped up. But it's giving me like an energy of like something around Christmas, something around with Santa Claus. Okay, I'm getting that coming in quick. Um, and I'm getting like coming to America when they got married at the end. It's something about that fairy tale wedding at the end, though. Um, it's also giving me Cinderella, you know, the old Cinderella, okay, with, um, Brandy and Whitney, okay, Miss Whitney Houston, it's giving me that, okay, at the end when she got married, okay, and like I said, just, it's just giving a fairy tale, it's giving like a brand new beginning, but it's like these, it's giving like king and queen, like rich and happy and you know, willing to share something about like Cinderella and the prince, but it's like this. Not it's not like a, a oh, you know, you know, money greedy type of energy. It's given like a sharing this with everybody. You know, willing to be happy, sharing their life with the kingdom or something. Some some of you guys can actually be really um, coming into contact with your kingdom spouse here. Um. It's really giving that. It's giving like that Cinderella fairy tale ending. And I'm also hearing like Little Mermaid, a whole new world. I'm also getting like an energy of like um like Santa Claus or Christmas. This could be around December here. Roses. Something's blooming here. Something's blooming. There's a brand new beginning here. Now, some of you guys are stepping into generational wealth by who you might marry. Okay, you might marry into happiness, but some of you guys, yeah, open doors, new opportunity. For some of you guys, you might come into a new opportunity with this spouse, okay, with this with this love connection. And I, I want to say brand new. Something's brand new here. I'm also hearing a brand new baby for some of you guys. For some of you guys, this could be like you guys having a new child or starting a new business. If this is somebody you're already in connection with, something's going to elevate to a new level. For some of you guys... Um, this could definitely be a brand new connection, but for some of you guys, it's just a brand new turnaround, okay? Maybe this is somebody you know already or is in the connection with. Yeah, we got an Ace of Wands here. Something is being penetrated is what I'm hearing. This could talk about some type of lustful energy. Yeah, somebody is in this determination, um, uh, persistent, motivated. Somebody's finding something brand new, um... I'm getting like, I'm also hearing same old, same old, same old chapter, same old things. This could be you. You could be feeling like something is old or it's, it's like um, you tired of the old, out with the old, in with the new. You want something brand new here. It's like you looked at this book a thousand times, but then when you look at it at a different angle, it's like you get something new from it. It's like. I never looked at it that way. It's like going towards something, and then it's like, oh, you didn't see much of it. But then when you go back towards it, it's like, where the fuck? This wasn't here before. It's like, hold on. I didn't think of that before. Why didn't I think of that before? 
Okay, somebody could also feel like they wasted a lot of time here. Somebody's very persistent. Okay, somebody's moving quick or, or they're working hard. Okay, they're taking their shirt off. Somebody like to show their shirt off. Somebody like to work with their shirt off. They, I don't know, or, or something like that. Somebody's a hard worker, though. Again, with the Christmas, some of you guys could be uh, in a state or city, a state where the, um, you don't get snow. Okay, you don't get no snow. Um, cause look, it's Christmas lights here. I don't know if y'all can see. I know my camera gets a little blurry, but it's Christmas lights here. Literally like it's lights here too, but it's like no snow, but it's like lights. So I don't know. You guys could be somewhere where it does not snow or you could be going somewhere for the holidays where it does not snow or it might, it might get very little snow, but like our, our shit, you could be somewhere where it might just be cold as fuck, but it's no snow. Um, but somebody here is working. I don't know. I'm also hearing something about harsh conditions, working in harsh conditions, party favors. Okay, somebody could be throwing a party. I'm also hearing something about a Halloween party. Uh, or somebody could have had a Halloween party. There was a fight at a Halloween party in the past, or somebody had a fight around Halloween or, or something. Something happened around Halloween in the past. Okay, some type of past memory something didn't happen the way it's supposed to somebody is rushing in or this could be somebody who's competing okay they could have rushed in around halloween or did some shit around halloween to compete or or fight with you or or something i don't know or maybe you guys ended out on bad times it can resonate okay um i don't know halloween a libra or a scorpio could be significant But I'm definitely hearing, like, generational wealth. But something is, I'm getting, like, I don't know, feminine. Maybe you held, if you were a feminine here, you held on to something here. You held on some, to some type of possibility or hope or faith or some type of new beginning. You, you wanted to grow something rather than shatter it. You wanted to nurture something, even if it wasn't the best, okay? Even if you... You didn't feel like it was the best queen of wands. You could have had some type of attraction towards someone or something. You had some type of possibility of something. And I do feel like I'm talking to a feminine here because, yeah, marriage. You wanted some type of marriage. You wanted some type of happiness. I kept looking at the woman in this picture more than the man. But I didn't know if that was a man being attracted to a woman or a woman being attracted to a lifestyle. There's a woman here that is attracted to a certain lifestyle to a certain possibility or to a certain happiness this could be with a pacific man or a, a pacific way of doing things somebody could want something specifically done how they want it or to look how they want it this is somebody that's like no i can't just be with anybody or i refuse to be with anybody it has to be this 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 person okay somebody's willing to grow or develop something put some nurture into something um start something over noel if you hit her again you get in the corner okay hold on family i had to get even real quick i don't i don't like that and in my household i get even you hit you get your ass hit back so we ain't doing that here even it's fair and fair okay listen she'll go sit down she'll know next time she won't put her hands on nobody but anyway um so this is um this is what i'm getting here yeah so queen of pentacles okay now now maybe you you growing things by yourself are you in this energy of um being motivated or or, or having something on your own okay but you wanted to grow something with somebody. You want to make something big enough for your whole family or grow something with, with, with a, a, a partner here. I, I keep getting a feeling uh, somebody was holding on to something bad or a bad feeling or a bad gesture or feeling like something bad would happen. But I'm getting like you didn't. You, you knew something good was going to happen or you felt like something good was going to happen. You held on to that. Like, no, it's going to work out. It's like even when shit got really dark. 
you were like, no, it's going to work out. It's going to work out. It's going to work out. Why? Because I said it. I manifested it. I want it. This is what I want. I know I'm not taking anything else. I'm not taking no for an answer. Somebody is very persistent. It's like, no, I want what I want. I said what I said. I'm not. I don't want anybody else. I don't want any other type of family. I don't want any other type of nothing. I want what I want. I want you. For some of you guys, this could be a specific person. Okay, but I keep getting like a lifestyle or a family. It's like, no. It's like if you ran across a specific person, you were like, no. You know, this is the one I want to marry. This is the one I want to be happy with. This could definitely be a man feeling this way about a woman, but I'm getting like a, a female's energy here. Too many of these came out, but I'm going to take it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to read all these at once. So there could be something that's going on here. There could be like a death or an ending. Or maybe there was like some type of tragedy here. Somebody could have had options and took a leap of faith towards something else or decided to go in another direction. This could be you or somebody else here. Somebody definitely was um put an a ending to something here. Or you did. Okay. This is this was a burden. Okay. Because I, I, or this could be like a literal death here. This something was a burden though. Okay. You know, something something hurt it. I'm also getting dramatic. Maybe you were a little dramatic here, crying or, you know, sniffles. I'm getting like um, something here hurting you a lot, though, okay? Or you felt like somebody else was a little dramatic, okay? It's just it's, it's giving the energy of like something died out or something in here. But like you, you went on to believe that or you went on to like, you know, acting as if something didn't hurt you as much as it did, but it actually very much did. It, it did, but it's the energy of, like, whoever you are, Gemini, you are very balanced. I always say that about Gemini. You're very balanced within your energy, so it's the energy of, like, even though it hurt, it's like I'm not going to show it hurt, or I'm going to just do me. You know, it hurt, shit. It hurt behind closed doors. Behind closed doors, you could have cried, but, you know, right there in the beginning, it's like, you know, our face-to-face -face with other individuals, it's like, yeah, that shit ain't nothing. That shit, like, shake it off, you know, type of energy. What, Noel? What is it? Okay, you can, ignore, you can ignore Noel. Noel, leave her alone. Are you going to lay down? We got the Seven of Cups here. There's definitely options. Are there definitely was options here? Okay, somebody took a leap of faith, okay? Um... And somebody's trying to take a leap of faith with the two of swords is giving me like a hard decision tough choice this could be you okay or this could be somebody that's having to face some type of obstacle or choice decision um making some type of i'm also hearing something about a merry-go-round starting something over or ending something out or or okay this could definitely be both for some of you guys you could have a new opportunity coming towards you even a new person it's something about the dream state Okay, dreams, downloads. You could be getting confused about the dreams or downloads or something happened in a dream, okay? And you're trying to make sense of something. There's a conversation coming coming, or somebody, somebody, somebody turned their back on you. This is what it's giving me. Somebody turned their back on you or somebody backstabbed you or somebody turned on you for another individual. Okay, I'm hearing quaint, can't quite put your finger on it, but you feel it strange, like it's fire in your veins. No, that's just your S-E-X. Take a deep breath. I don't know what this is. Somebody could have thought something was love, and it was really lust. I don't know if somebody turned on you. Okay. Um, I'm getting almost like you don't want to see it for that, or you could be in a little bit of denial that somebody, you know, betrayed you in that way, or that somebody hurt you the way they did. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm getting like somebody definitely could have. Daddy. Daddy. I'm busy. Okay, I'm busy. What's the nine of swords here? We got May, okay? So I don't know if you're having nightmares or you're having nightmares about a certain individual here. This could be a Taurus or this could be you, Gemini. Okay. What's this nine of swords? Yeah, we'll never be apart. Okay, so somebody here definitely was in some type of Sagittarius. Somebody could be a Sagittarius, okay? 
Um, so for some of you guys, you got somebody who wants to come back. Okay. Um, I'm here giving you the best of me. Mm -mm. Amazing. Amazing. So I don't know. Um, somebody could definitely want to come give you the best of them. Okay. Sagittarius energy again. I don't know what this is. I feel like, because with that, we'll never be apart. Somebody here definitely got separated or broken into pieces. Or something got broken into pieces. Somebody got separated or forced, literally forced apart here. Okay? Somebody had to make some type of choice or decision. And I don't know. This could be constantly replaying in your head. Okay? Maybe you're dreaming about this. You're dreaming about, you know, yeah, not please at all. You're not happy about this shit or somebody's not happy but the fact that they were, uh, I, I feel like somebody got tricked into, like, separating. There could have been somebody that came in, in between you two, and they kind of tricked this person or um, into fumbling the bag or, or hurting you or, or, yeah, December. Okay, this could be a Capricorn or a Sagittarius again. Um, but somebody could have came in between something here. Okay, and you're, you're constantly having dreams or nightmares about it. Somebody's name could be between the letters A or G. You you feel like somebody... I mean, somebody could have definitely took somebody else's side over yours or sided with somebody over you, and you felt very much so betrayed. Like, they could have even lied about some shit that happened or lied to you about an individual. You feel... Yeah, they did you dirt. Yeah, this person definitely hurt you. Okay, they... they this, they, there was some type of trust that um, needs to be rebuilt, okay? Because somebody here, the trust is gone because somebody took somebody else's side or, you know, sided with somebody or, like, took somebody else's word over yours or believed somebody else over you. It's, like, completely leaving you in the dark. They could even lie about you. Yeah, somebody here was two-faced. Somebody here was very fucking two-faced. One minute they smiling in your face, but then they was talking behind you about behind your back, or they was kiki and calling. You know, everything was funny. It was laughter. You know, it was yeah. I feel like you're having dreams about this shit, and you actually really pissed off about this. Okay, or you could feel this. You can feel this intuitively. Like somebody was one minute everything's all good, and the next minute somebody's turning on you, like literally. Like, really stabbing you in the back. I'm getting, like, a knife in the back. Like, what the fuck? I thought we was better than that or something like that. Like, and I'm getting, like, you had best interest for this person. Or you felt as if, you 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 felt as if this person wouldn't do something like that to you, but they did. Yeah, I'm getting, like, you could be holding on to this. Yeah. I promise to never do it again. Yeah, you could have ended this out. You ended something out, or it's like the trust was burnt. Like, you, you've you been looking. Like, if you were in a relationship currently with this person, like, brother, no matter who this person is, because I'm not getting necessary that this other person that came in between could be a relationship. It don't have to be. I'm not really getting that, but it could be. It could be like a friend's with benefits, a relationship. It could be a friend. It could be a family member. But it was just a point of, like, damn, like, it's the loyalty. For some of you guys, loyalty means so much to you. And it's like, when this person came in between, it's like the fact that you even took somebody else's word or side over mine. And it's like, you had genuine thoughts and emotions, feelings for this person. Yeah, a chakra uh, uh, alignment here. Somebody could be getting balanced. Or you are getting balanced here. Somebody could be trying to balance themselves. Yeah, I'll protect you. Because I feel like now this person want to make some type of stance. Especially with that, I promise to never do it again. Somebody is hoping that you could trust them or to rebuild some type of trust here. Yeah, 20 to 50. Somebody could be going to jail or somebody did something multiple times. I'm hearing something about reconsider. Somebody could be reconsidering something. A Scorpio. A Scorpio could be involved here. My Empress world, what's the price? So, you got another individual here. There's a Scorpio here, okay, or another individual. Okay, I'm also here in Pisces. Could be significant. 
But somebody here could be saying, like, reconsider, don't do it, I choose you, girl. This It's giving me, like, somebody trying to run to the finish line. It's like when some shit is happening, somebody's running like, no. No, 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 no. It's like when you you standing at the altar finna get married, they're like, do anybody refuse it? Anybody has anything to say? Reason why these people should not be married? And then somebody bust up in the damn church doors and be like, me, don't do it. Or some shit like that. My word, empress, somebody views you as their empress here. Somebody's like, don't do it. Reconsider, recommit, or something. I choose you, girl. Somebody's trying to say they choose you. And I'm just getting, like, whoever this other person is, like, that's trying to build some type of trust. They getting real frustrated or they getting real antsy. This, this motherfucker almost want to lay their hands on somebody. Somebody's like, it's like they somebody has this demeanor about them. They trying to keep calm, but in the, in, in, in the inside, they on fire. They in flames. I'm seeing two people standing there. All right, if somebody coming in like, no, this could also be very energetically. For some of you guys, this literally might happen. And somebody is standing there trying to act calm, but in reality, they are on fire. I get like this person wants to get a good impression for you or keep up a good impression for you, but they really want to lay their hands on a motherfucker. Like, not this motherfucker again, bro. Could you go on? Or something like that. Yeah, but somebody here, they want to fight for their right. They want you to at least hear them out. Or they want to they wanna come in and, you know, give some type of offer or say something to you. Okay, they want you to hear them out in some kind of way here. This person could be trying to interfere, though. Let's get... Let's get some on this individual right here. Tell us about this person. King of Pentacles, somebody could... Um, Somebody could be trying to heal some type of money or financial. Yeah, what's the price? They could be even trying to offer you something or willing to give you some type of money or an exchange for something. Yeah, because they're in a lot of regret. They want to move to come water. What this is? Hold on. Her power stand. Try this. We're going to go on with the angel. deserve love somebody saying like you deserve love i'm sorry this could be somebody who was very non-committal okay i'm talking about this other individual very non-committal very deceptive okay somebody's like you deserve love um i'm sorry or something like that yeah it wait it is a it is safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of love Deception. Let your friends help you. There's some type of deception or deceit here. This is the third time. Somebody's wearing a false mask here. It's almost like this person don't know they're deceptive or they don't know that they see that um you see them some kind of way. You see them. You're able to oh I'm sorry. You're able to see this individual. I'm getting like this other person here. I don't know if they don't even know that they're wearing a mask. Maybe somebody really wants to be right for you or really wants to be a certain kind of way, but literally this person is deceptive. It's, it's something like this person, yeah, let your friends help you with this. I feel like these are your angels, your, your angels. Yeah, because somebody here finna get married, and it's like you have two different parts or two different paths to go down here. I'm also hearing a pathfinder. Somebody could drive like a truck, a pathfinder, or um, like a Jeep. I'm also hearing Cherokee, a Jeep Cher Cherokee, or or some type of Jeep like um, a path or something here. But I'm getting like somebody definitely is somebody is deceptive here. But they, they want a second chance. Yeah, I'm here. I choose you. Yeah. This person could be lying about something here. Finances and career separation. It's coming out in reverse. It's 
says financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. You got somebody here that is wealthy. I'm hearing because a nigga handsome and wealthy. Yeah, somebody can have dreads, okay? Or they dress really stylish. Or somebody could be like an amigo. Like, give me the, a vibe of amigo. Somebody can even wear glasses. Like, all of them wear glasses. Somebody could be dark-skinned or fair-skinned. Somebody could uh, dress really nice or, like, they're in the public eye. Some type of celebrity here. Um, okay, so there's one energy that's, like, there was some type of separation. You was in a separation from somebody because of financial issues or because this person was dealing with something with finances here. Okay, let your friends help you getting to know each other. So, I'm getting, like, I was telling you, like, it's one individual here that you need to get to know. Let your friends help you here. It says, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bonds um, thicken, deepen. Okay? Being willing to explore. So, there's another individual here. There's somebody that wants to come towards you that wants your forgiveness and wants to reveal trust. Yeah, we got make the effort. But then you also have an individual here that is energetically wanting to fight for you or come towards you in some kind of way. But I feel like this person here, they want to be right, but I'm getting like this person is a snake, okay? They're trying to snake you. I don't know if they want to be right. They're fooling themselves. I'm also hearing something a foolie with the toolie. I don't know what the fuck that's about. Somebody can even be threatening an individual. This could be behind the scenes, like... I don't know if these people have some type I'm here in a mosque. I don't know if these people got some type of beef with each other. Okay, Gemini. Like it's something under the it's something like you don't know about. It's some beef or in a mosque. Somebody could even be trying to come in because they know somebody could be looking at you and wanting to be with you and somebody wants to come in and stop that. Like, oh hell no. Yeah, um, love yourself first. Yeah, this individual Whoever this other individual is, you had to go into some type of solitude. Yeah, I'm requiring love and calling in your soulmate. It's coming out in reverse. So I'm getting like you could have definitely had unconditional love for this individual. Okay, this other person. Okay, choice number two, option number two. And not to say like nobody is like better than anybody, but that's literally what I'm getting. Shit, this motherfucker came in out of nowhere. And for some of you guys, this might be literally. You might be like, what? Like, where the fuck did you even come from? Or something like that. It's because somebody feels like you're going to be moving on and they're going to lose some type of chance or opportunity with you. Um, Unrequited love, though. I feel like you definitely had love for this individual. You had something there for this individual. Because it was in the reverse. Because it's like not enough love, affection, or chemistry to build this relationship or keep this relationship going. You had love there. But calling in your soulmate, I'm getting like you're not, you're not calling in this person. You're not calling in this individual. This could be a soulmate. This is not who you want to come forth. Like, when you imagine a family or the type of family that you want, you didn't imagine it with this individual. Somebody blew their chance. Okay, Gemini, it just is what it is. Somebody missed out. They missed the opportunity. They missed the deadline or something like that. Yeah, true love. Make an effort and soulmate. And it's coming out again. So I'm getting like, you have a new soulmate. Yeah, wedding. And release your ex. Literally, it's coming out just like that. You have a new soulmate. Or you have a new person. You have new stuff that you're going to do. You're, you're, you're ready to do new traditions here. Are you ready to start something new? Like, her power could have gave you a chance at a new life. Like, if you did love this person unconditionally, it's almost like the love you have for somebody is no more... That love is now the love you have for somebody else. But that person is going to love you back. They could have fucked up. They really could have. But then this is something like you. Like, if you kept giving this other motherfucker chances, at the chances to get their shit together, and they didn't. And it's something like you didn't have to give this other person that many chances. Okay? It's something like that, that second chance, that first chance, or whatever. The third chance, maybe, for some of you guys. It, it depends on how the rest shit went. But it's not nearly as much as you had to give somebody else. Something something just kind of died out. It just kind of died out, like, literally. And it's like, somebody else is like, 
If I get this one more go, it's like you got that one more chance in you. Like, if I get this one more go, somebody wants all that. Okay? Somebody wants all that. But then you're here and you're like, man, if I get this one more go, is this going to be what I need it to be? And high power saying yes. Okay? That's why we have let your friends help you. Let your loved ones. Ask for support. Ask and, ask and accept support from others, okay? When it comes to this new person. And this person might not even be new, but it's like a new merry-go-round with the Ace of Wands. It's something new, okay? It's, it's a new energy, okay? But that is all I have for you, my Gemini family. Thanks for chilling with your girl. If this video has touched you in any kind of way, energetically, definitely go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And I will definitely catch you guys in the next one. I appreciate all your love and support. Till next time, family. Peace, love, and prosperity. Mwah. Bye. Hey, family. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Happy this more. Back with more tea. Back with another read. And we're going to cleanse the energy and see what's going on for my Libras. Okay. Libra, you could have a Scorpio in your energy, okay? Or you could have Scorpio in your chart. Cleansing the energy for my Libra. Let's see what's going on. Higher power, cleansing the energy. I'm also getting, though, some of you guys could be faced with some type of choices or obstacles as well. And I'm also getting, um, you could have Pisces in your chart, okay? You could also be dealing with a Gemini. Take it how it, however it may resonate, Okay. Maybe you need to go check out that Gemini read, okay? But let's see what's going on. Cleansing the energy for my Libra. Let's see what's going on. All right, Power, what do my Libra need to know? I feel like you're being introduced or you're being transitioned or you're being ushered into something. It's almost like your ancestors are ushering into you. If you ushering you into a marriage or a commitment here, something that's going to be long term, something that's going to be happy, something that's going to be some type of wish fulfillment here. You're getting like the okay about something. You could definitely be uninspired or you feel like... I don't know, you feel a little shaky about something or you don't you don't know if you should go towards something or not or you feeling unmotivated or if you should let your guards down. This could just be like an energy of you feeling like, yeah, I'm not going to let my guards down or something like that. I'm getting like you're getting the okay here. Libra. What do my Libras need to know? Higher power, what do they need to know? There's a brand new beginning for you. There's a whole new world out there for you. Happiness out there for you. Definitely check out um, that Gemini's read, okay? Some of you guys are definitely transitioning to a marriage. Yeah, you're going to be celebrating here. Something's going to be wish fulfillment. I'm getting like something's going to be a victory. I'm also getting like a lot of people cheering you on or admiring your um, admiration or admiring your skill set or admiring who you are as an individual here yeah somebody's making a good pick here you're making a good pick or somebody's gonna present an offer here okay queen of wands in the reverse okay so we got the queen of wands out here in the reverse i don't know what that's about here but somebody could definitely be promiscuous this could be in your energy here somebody could be lustful around you libra or i don't know what this is um but we got a lot of good stuff that's being laid out. So I'm getting like this could be somebody that's in the shadows or in the in the background here. Um, but with the six of wands, yeah, this is like a victory here. Like your your ancestors are ushering you to have this. Even if you get, I'm here like a full house. This could be like having a lot of kids. This could also be like a man with like a lot of daughters. Okay, or having a lot of girls. Are being surrounded with like a lot of women. Okay. Even if you got like dogs. It might be all female dogs or something like that. Like, But I'm getting like a nurturer, a protector here. Somebody's wanting to offer a cup or give some something here. I'm also hearing something like a one night stand. Okay. Um. 
Some of you guys might end up having a one night stand. I don't know what this is because I'm here lean with it. Rock with it. I don't know. I walk up in the club, everybody. Something. I don't know. Somebody could go out dancing because I'm here dancing. Yeah. Somebody could like that 70s energy or, you know, somebody could like go somewhere where it's like me dancing or, you know, this might be like a whole different crowd of people. It might not be like yo usual type and you know what this is so crazy because i'm looking at her and she looked like she's at dinner literally like somebody might go to dinner dancing or it might be somewhere where it's like music okay this could even be like the holidays something's ending out here but there's like a transformation somebody could be begging for forgiveness or wanting a second chance here somebody's on their way to the motherland though this is what it's giving me it's also giving me like the Grim Reaper is coming, clearing shit out. Like whatever does not need to go, it, it needs to it needs to be dead it or it needs to be ended here. Something needs to go. Yeah, somebody could also be heartbroken. Somebody could be holding on to you, holding on to your energy. This is secretly though. Somebody feels like you're a prized possession, Libra, or you're something to cherish, which you are. You are a diamond, baby. But it's the energy of like somebody feels like they want to, somebody's holding on to you. I'm holding on to your energy. They, they holding on tight as fuck too. Somebody don't want to let go. Somebody could be heartbroken because it's time to clear house or it's time to, 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 to pack out. Somebody, it's time to pack out. It's like you can't celebrate fully until something, until somebody is out of your energy or away from you or it's like, gone forever or something i don't know what the fuck this is um this could have something to do literally with the death i'm getting like somebody keeps putting you at crossroads you keep feeling as if it's a possibility or somebody wants to confuse you with something or with someone um this is being done purposely libra this is being done purposely okay It's about a child. It's a child here that's innocent and everything as well. I don't know. There's a child that's innocent and everything. Yeah, again, Ace here. Somebody could be going to Ace Hardware. Ace is a place for something, something, something. I don't know. Or somebody could be like a handyman. They fix cars or they do stuff with their hands. Somebody's really good at construction or like somebody could like cars. I don't know. Shit, you could be getting your car fixed. This could have something to do with, like, car problems. I don't know, Libra. Um, take it higher, may resonate. Yeah, we got the devil here. There's also, like, some toxic energy. Like, again, with this four, this could be a Capricorn. Or, like, somebody here is very toxic. Like, they're holding on some to some type of toxic waste. Waste? Toxic waste? I don't know what this is. Somebody could literally be doing some shit too. Like doing something to you. You finna get justice or, or something's finna be justice here. A king of wands. Somebody could be purposely doing something to your car or doing something toxic to you or our environment you're in. This is on purpose though. Somebody wanna feel like the man when they walk through or something like that. Somebody wants you to need them, Libra. Okay, or, or this could also be a woman. I'm also hearing Etsy to be significant. Some, a light is being shined, okay? There's also some type of illumination, the sun here. It, it's almost like this person has been in the dark for a very long time, but the light is being shined on this individual, okay? It's almost like this person, um, this person is spiteful and envious. It's almost like they're jealous, it's almost like somebody's jealous of your new beginning, your new life. You celebrating or you being celebrated, you being happy or being put on some type of pinnacle. Somebody's mad about that. You also have a um, a king of cups here. Ooh, king of cups. I ain't mean to say that, baby. Well, we got the knight of cups. So somebody's going to come in with an offer, but they won't wait much more here. This person's actually a king of cups. This person actually have a lot of love. This is another individual. Okay, somebody has a lot of love for you on the, on the other hand, on the up and up. It's looking really good. Somebody's inspired to give you something or to offer you something, to offer you something better, okay? 
I'm here up, grade your baby mama to a condo. Okay, that's what some of y'all, somebody wants to. It's like whatever somebody tried to make worse or bad for you, somebody's finna come in and, and make better for you. It's like, shit, I can help out with that. I can fix that. And I'm getting like whoever this individual is, this could be like a baby dad, this person in the background, or this could be somebody you wanted to have kids with or something like that. Um, But this individual wanted to make life hard for you because you're celebrating. They feel like things came too easy for you or whatever lifestyle you're going to be moving into. Okay, Libra, they felt like, oh, they can come in and interrupt that just because they could or... I don't know, you could have uh, turned down an offer, or this person could just be jealous. Like, how you get all that? You you don't get to live like that. You don't get to be happy, woo woo especially because, like, if this is somebody when they're not in the picture, you're doing better. This could even, you could even broke up with an individual, and you started doing better when you broke up with that person. And they look at that like a slap in the face. Maybe you ain't want to deal with them. Like, should I, I'm better off by myself or something like that, or I'm doing better now than I was when I was in your, you know, in the energy with you. It's something like this person always wants to keep you down. Yeah, and I'll, I'm finna say Gemini. Somebody can be dealing with a Gemini. Or you got Gemini on your chart. Somebody always wants to keep you down. Keep you in this sad energy. Or keep you low vibrational. Maybe so that they can always make their way towards you. Or come in, in and out. This is like a Knight of Wands energy. Okay, but somebody's mad because they're celebrating now. And then you have like a... A knight of cups here that wants to offer you something here. This person is like that shining armor. Like, yeah, I'm getting like coming over the horizon, baby. It's something. <laughs> oh, no, it's something like that. You know, you got a motherfucker just coming out the woodwork over the horizon. You just see them in the sunset. Somebody got long hair. I don't know. It's giving me like. I don't know. I'm here, Gustavo. It's giving me some. I don't know. Somebody could be Italian, Asian, or it's something about this this sexy Spanish or I don't know, like some type of romantic ass. This is this is one of the motherfuckers that touch your face soft, like touch your chin softly and give you a rose or some shit. It's like, oh, you like melt or. <laughs> And you just be like, oh, and you just like kind of, I don't know, somebody could have that effect on the ladies. I'm hearing ladies, ladies, ladies. <laughs> somebody got like a lot of ladies like falling all over them and shit. Like somebody got that effect over women. Like somebody blink their eye. Like, you know, you do that little winky wink eye or somebody be licking their lips and motherfuckers get wet. Like, whoa, shit, or something like that. <laughs> Hold on a well. I don't know what this is, y'all, but it's giving me something like that. Somebody got, like, this energy about them. It's like this. It's just giving me knight and shining arm or somebody like to show their chest or somebody got some chest. You know, I don't know, sexy. Somebody want to dress a certain way so you look at them, look, ooh, like you, you look at them like a snack or something like that. <laughs> like, you look real nice, but I just keep getting in, in, in the imagery. Of a man literally in the horizon, y'all. In the horizon. Coming over the damn sun. The sun shining in the background. Some of you guys, you might it literally take this as a message. Because you might see this person and the sun literally might be shining. Or it might be some about them. Or like you could have witnessed this already where it's like some was like slow motion. Or it might happen slow motion. Like you might be looking at this motherfucker. You know how you... You get the heart eyes and the birds flying around you and shit. And it's like, not on purpose. It's like, something you never did or felt before about this individual. I don't I don't know if this is somebody you met already. Whether or not, if this is somebody you met already, then this could have happened before. If not, then this will happen. Like, it's going to be a moment with shit. The world going to stop. And it's going to be slow motion. And it's going to be like, oh, I think I'm in love with this motherfucker. Or something like that. It's going to be something like that. But when you see this person literally might be coming over the horizon, like the sun going to be shining. You're going to get this feeling about yourself like, I don't know what it is. But I need to see something about. Yeah, I'm here. I don't know what it is.
Got me twisted, caught up, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Usher. Mm -hmm. I don't know mm -hmm. what it is. Noel, get out, please. But yeah, somebody gonna have you twisted. You gonna be like, man, I don't know what the fuck it is about this person, but I need to, I need to go see something. I don't know. It's just some. It's like almost like a magnet. Like you gonna be like, mm, like. I don't know, like, <laughs> you could have options, or maybe this is how somebody feels about you, I don't know, it's just, it's just like, you just gonna be like, I don't know, you should, you ain't even gonna, I don't even know, y'all, I feel like that's how it's gonna feel, like, you ain't even gonna know, you just gonna be like, I don't know what it is about this person, I rather, I don't know what it is about Libra or Libra, you're going to be like, I don't know what it is about this person. Even if this person is offering you something, you might see them out of public. And you might notice them before they notice you. But you ain't going to make the first move. This person going to make a move to you. Or, like, it's something about this person coming to you. But you, and deep down inside, feeling this way. Like, I don't know what it is about this motherfucker. But I think I'm in love. Or <laughs> so. Like, you're going to be trying your hardest, like, not to put on... I'm almost getting like a facade. You're going to be trying to put on some type of facade. Like, let me calm down. Let me calm down. Ooh, they smell good as a fuck. But let me calm down. Let me calm down. <laughs> it's almost something like that. Or somebody going to come present an offer to you and they're going to feel this way about you. Like, they're going to be looking at you and shit. You're going to be just, you can see the lust in their eyes almost like, damn, I will tear, I will devour Libra or something like that. But then it's like, hey, you know, something like that. Like, that's what's going to come out their mouth. Like, hey, you know, you look beautiful or something like that. But deep down in their eyes, you're going to see it. Like, I will Bend you over and pound your ass out or something like that. Like, like somebody gonna somebody gonna be trying to hold themselves back, or this gonna be you. Somebody gonna be trying to take deep breaths and shit. Like, I'm almost getting like, don't do nothing too subtle. Don't do <laughs> some of y'all might have a one night stand, because I'm I'm I don't know, cause it's getting almost like, or maybe this is what they want. It's almost like, you know, if you dress a certain way or show a little cleavage, this person gonna be. Where they fingertips are gonna be, it's almost like I'm getting like a man sitting down at a restaurant getting hard. <laughs> he gonna be hard, y'all. He gonna be trying to contain himself, like, like I don't know. This might be both of y'all. Y'all might literally be feeling this same way about each other, like real steamy, like. What is the seven of pentacles? This is some type of investment here. Yeah, page of swords. I feel like somebody had to get more clarity or somebody's getting more clarity about investing into something. I'm over here in the game of thrones. It can be significant. Somebody's getting more clarity about investing into something or investing into you or they had to do their research. Okay, somebody wasn't too sure. Oh, because somebody's the king of pentacles. King of pentacles. Somebody's the king of pentacles out here. So somebody had to see whether or not they could trust you or whether or not it's worth it or, or something like that. Holding on. Page of wands. Yeah. Options here. Somebody was curious about other options. Are they want to know if you were curious about other options? Are you, if you were exploring other options, somebody wants to see stuff for, see something for themselves. They want to know something for themselves, see something for themselves. Okay. They had to do their research on you. They had to figure things out here. This person could definitely feel like other options are looking at you. And if you would go, you know, would it, if, if you would be willing to go towards these other people, it's like, if I put all my trust and my love into you. And with somebody being the king of pentacles, whether this is energetically or physically, you know, somebody could have money or they could just be abundant with a lot of different, you know, diversity. I'm hearing abundant with diversity. This is like giving me an emperor almost, you know, somebody that can embodies all the kings or all the queens, the empress energy as well. But 
somebody wanted to know like if you would be the one for them or if this was really truly it okay this can literally be you because you could be looking at somebody and they could have some money you could just be like you know just because you got some money don't think i'm gonna fall all over you or something like that there is some type of holding on energy something's being held on let's see empress so for some of you guys this could be somebody from your past okay this could be somebody from your past Okay, or this could be somebody, um, somebody could be dealing with an Aquarius. I have Aquarius in a chart. This, brother, this is somebody from your past. Somebody views you as an empress, though. Okay. Or, or this could be somebody that's holding on to an empress energy. Not saying it like that, but, like, maybe somebody has some type of imagery of how they want their wife to be. And so it's like checking off the list, like, you know, does that mean my needs? Does that mean my needs? Does that mean my needs? Type of energy. Like somebody envisions what they want their wife to be or their spouse to be. Some of you guys, this could be a long lost friend of yours, okay? You could be a Pisces or um, somebody could be dealing with a Pisces. This is definitely an emperor, though. And this person is wanting time to speed up. Okay, something to happen quick here. Or they want to move fast. You could be in the energy of moving slow. Somebody wants to move fast. I feel like because they know all about you. Or this person could have been absorbing you. Or did some type of research on you. I don't know. But um, they know all about you. But you probably don't know too much about them. You probably like, yeah, I don't know. But they want to know more about you. No weapons formed against me shall prosper. So, I'm getting like, for some of you guys, they held on to some type of prayer or they held on to something here. Um, I held on to you because you was like a safe place, a safe place or a prayer or, I don't know, you you helped somebody transition into something, Hospitaliz hospitalized. It's coming out in the reverse. So, I'm getting like, if there was a situation where, I don't know, somebody could have helped somebody. Somebody's holding on to the fact that somebody's helped somebody. Or, or set them free or cause something coming out in a reverse here. Um Yeah, somebody was in some type of jam here where they was done dirty. Yeah, I will fight for you. Somebody's willing to fight for you or help you. Tell me how you really feel. So yeah. Somebody's willing to stick up for you or be there for you, help you. Okay. Um or defend you will of fortune with the hermit yes somebody's watching you are they watching these other options here are they watching these other people in the background for some of you guys libra you got people that's watching you and wishing envious on you this person is in the astro realm or energetically um helping you literally like whether this is somebody you're in a relationship with now or you were in a relationship or this is somebody from your past it doesn't even matter or maybe you haven't even met this person they're still doing prayers over you i feel like you are doing prayers over each other like yeah you know i hope my kingdom spouse make it to me i hope they're safe i hope that one day we just bump into each other or like i said if this is an ex here they're hoping and praying like or i don't know what this, this person could be like a spiritualist or something here because with them doing research and watching other people that's watching you, somebody, yeah, Queen of Wands, this person finds you attractive. Strange, girl, you might be coming, somebody could be like a tarot reader, or they getting tarot readings done. Somebody could be like a spiritualist. I don't know if they told you this, or this is you, Libra. Yeah, Two of Cups. Justice. Yeah, somebody could have seen justice in a dream or you seen justice in a dream or somebody seen something happen in a dream or it's getting a dream a dreams about some type of justice or something's coming. Yeah, and, and somebody could be defensive, queen of swords. Whether somebody's defending you or somebody's defensive or like they're they're the they're defending something, like somebody's very territorial with the tower. Somebody could be fighting on your behalf, defending you against a queen of swords, an en envious individual. Now, that could definitely be with this queen of wands here. Yeah, I was getting that, though. It's a queen of wands out here in the reverse. 
that's doing their research on you. This person's looking you up. They're doing some type of research on you or trying to get... I don't know, this person's curious about who you are or what you do or what you about, who you really are. It's like somebody snooping around or trying to find out some shit about you here. This is a lustful kind of energy. This is giving me little... Okay, a Jezebel spirit. Yeah, not a cuss because somebody wants to bring in... Or somebody wants to be competition because, again, this man has some type of money, okay, or some type of abundance that's surrounding them, and somebody wants part of that. And so they want to come in and compete with this offer that this man's bringing towards you. So they could be doing research, trying to find out shit about you, trying to find out, you know, who you are or, you know, what you, what makes you tick or what makes you, what's, what you're drawn to or Somebody trying to find out some shit about you. Okay, Libra. But that is all I have for you guys. Thanks for chilling with your girl, High Priestess Mara. I appreciate all the love and support you guys show to the channel. If this video has energetically helped you in any kind of way, definitely go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you're updated when there's new videos. I love you guys, and I will definitely catch you guys in the next one. Peace, love, and prosperity. Till next time. Bye.